Parks. Looks like we are expecting some rain coming our way. Tonight. Yeah, we're going to get another round of rain. Uh, folks down in Arkansas will also see another round of rain. Uh, looks like, uh, especially on Wednesday, we're going to see our chances overnight tonight. And there it is, right now on radar. You can see we've got the that front line of showers and thunderstorms. That's the cold front, but we've now got activity firing up behind that cold front back in the eastern areas of Kansas. So even though round one may go through your backyard, your chances may not be over with as we could find some additional showers and thunderstorms later. Later on tonight. Now, as that line was approaching from the west earlier this evening, uh, this was the look off to the west. You could see that cloud bank. Those were showers and thunderstorms back near I-49 earlier this evening. And when they were crossing the I-49 corridor, Morgan Young got this photo of one strong thunderstorm. You can see the shelf cloud right there. These storms did try to organize. It's just that they just didn't have enough. Uh, opportunity uh, before the window closed. Uh, I'm not expecting any chances for severe weather from here on out, but locally heavy rainfall, gusty winds possibly, along with lightning, uh, that's certainly going to be a, a risk with any of the stronger thunderstorms. And we could find that here in Springfield. Here's Springfield. Notice off to the west, this line right here, that's the cold front. And we've got showers and maybe even some isolated thunderstorm activity developing just behind that cold front uh, back along I-44 from Mount Vernon uh, northeast to northwest of Republic, and this is moving east at 25 miles per hour, and I think within the hour, we're going to find that impacting parts of Springfield. The heaviest storm on the line, though, has been this storm that's making its way toward Windyville right now. We had a, a weather watcher out of Goodson reporting a quick three quarters of an inch of rainfall with that thunderstorm as it moved through. Should be in the Windyville area by 930, and looks like it'll be in 11 and uh, shortly after 10 o'clock this evening. And again, there will be that risk for additional showers and isolated thunderstorms even later on tonight. The severe weather risk has really been focused further northeast. Still a lingering severe weather threat across parts of Michigan. For us, instability values are going down. That means the potential for any strong thunderstorm activity also going down with this cold front. Uh, there will be some gusty winds also, not necessarily with the thunderstorm activity itself, but on the back side of the cold front as cool air begins to rush in. So watch for that. Also watch for temperatures to begin sliding. They're in the low 70s right now, but by morning we are going to be in the low to mid 50s. So a much cooler day in store for Wednesday. Overnight tonight, the risk for showers and a few thunderstorms as this cold front moves through. Tomorrow we're going to wake up to sunshine and chilly temperatures, but high cloudiness will spread in by late morning and it looks like we'll have a high overcast for the afternoon along with cool afternoon highs in the upper 60s. Our hour by hour forecast shaping up like this. This is through midnight. Notice through 3 o'clock in the morning, we've still got that threat for showers and isolated thunderstorms, and we're going to probably hold on to a threat for showers through 7 o'clock in the morning over south central Missouri and north central Arkansas before we find a dry day unfolding although turning rather cloudy for the afternoon on Wednesday. Low tonight of 54. Uh, looks like uh, even chillier weather possible Wednesday night. Here's a quick peek at how low we've been so far this fall season, and I think we're going to beat these numbers tomorrow morning, and we're going to go even cooler by Thursday morning. High tomorrow of 67 with breezy north winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Let's check out that seven-day forecast. See where we're going. Chilly start on Thursday with lows in the upper 40s. High of 74. Looks like a beautiful day. One of the nicest we've had so far this month. Friday increase in clouds and a high of 77. A front's going to try to wobble through Friday night. That'll keep things a little cooler on Saturday. And then that front wobbles back to the north of the area by Sunday. And we'll find warmer and more humid conditions developing. All right. And what is our viewers club number? Number tonight is 132-677. And our jackpot is $1,300. All right, Jamie. Thank